Hello, in this session we will talk about accessing SAP HANA 1 on Amazon Web Services known as AWS. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. SAP HANA 1 is a powerful in-memory database released by SAP and it is buzz of the day and it could be used by both online transaction processing systems as well as online analytical processing systems and that what makes this database unique. Now, in order to learn SAP HANA database, you need access to SAP HANA. And in this session, I will show you how you can get access easily on Amazon Web Services at very affordable price. Very briefly, we will talk about the AWS, which stands for Amazon Web Services. AWS is a cloud offering. What does that mean and what is the significance to your business? So in a traditional model, you will be having your own infrastructure within your premises. Infrastructure meaning hardware, software, network, and whatever it takes for you to host the software for the business. And very small time or resources will be spent on the core business and a chunk of resources will be spent on maintaining the infrastructure. So that is number one problem with the traditional model. In the cloud model, it is actually reversed. Majority of the time you will get to spend on the core business and very small time you will be spending on maintaining the infrastructure which you will not be hosting anymore. You will be renting from service providers like AWS. Okay, so we understand we do not have to buy the hardware, buy the software and we do not have to hire IT people maintaining it, we will be simply renting the services from the cloud provider. Okay, So infrastructure as a service is what AWS is basically offering. So the key term here is the service. They are offering infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure could include hardware, software, network, etc. Everything is offered as a service. What does that mean? And how do they do that? So they do that using a technique called virtualization. And that enables them to package the infrastructure inside services. So you can request any resources in units. Give me one gigabyte more in space. Give me this much more of CPU. This give me this much more of memory, now reduce this much of the CPU, I don't need that. So you can request resources any time to be added or to be reduced and it would happen in a matter of minutes. So two main benefits one would get from a cloud model is number one, more focus on the core business is possible. Number two, cost saving because of high flexibility in terms of sizing. As I said, to start with you don't need, for example, tons of storage and a lot of CPU. You can start with a small resources as your business grow. You can add more resources and if the business is going down you can reduce resources. So lots of flexibility meaning lots of cost saving. So we will get an instance of SAP HANA server from Amazon Web Services and I'll show you how to do that in coming videos. So what is an instance? Instance is a virtual machine. It will look like a physical machine to you but it is in fact a virtual machine. It will have certain amount of memory, certain CPU capacity, certain hard disk space but in fact what Amazon is doing they have large powerful physical machines which they are slicing into small virtual machines using virtualization feature and when you request an instance as a service they create this virtual machine for you on the fly based on your capacity and that's this is what you get and you pay for the resources that you're consuming so from Amazon Web Services you get an instance as well as you get volumes or storage units. Data is kept on storage unit and instance is created on the fly when you start your your instance is created on the fly and the hard disk is created based on the data that is stored on the volumes and you'll see 
the same system that you last turned off. So uh, this is the whole concept of Amazon Web Services. But keep in mind, this is one of the type of service that they offer, the virtual machine service. You can call it in simple language, but they have tons of other services as well. As I said, uh, the, the billing is very affordable and for learning purpose, this is best option uh, you have to become a master in SAP HANA 1. The cost of an instance for SAP HANA 1 is about three and a half dollars an hour. So you just turn it on when you want to use it, turn it off when you're done so that you are not billed uh, for those hours on which you're not using the machine. However, the data that is stored on the volumes, the storage unit, is, is still there and you will be billed for that and that is like 10 cents per gigabyte on monthly basis. So it's really negligible. So you will find out more details on coming videos. This is just a high level overview of AWS and why we want to use AWS to get access to SAP HANA 1 database. So this is what we'll do. We'll get SAP HANA 1 server as a service. Okay. And what we'll get is SAP HANA 1 database on SUSE Linux platform, which is obviously going to be a virtual machine. And you will access this database through a client software called SAP HANA Studio. SAP HANA Studio is a freely available client software that you can use to connect to SAP HANA 1 database. This could be installed on Windows based machines. So this setup will give you a perfect environment to become a master in this new technology.